Carry on and then finish it, but finish okay, it's fine. That's it. good. Uh, to be honest, with you, what was that? I couldn't follow that. Yeah, it's follow just this, so funky. Just that, like. Well, whilst you're holding your purple monster, <laughs> why don't you uh, tell the good people this... in YouTube land why we're here today, Mr. Well, Pete. why are we here today? We are here today because of this. Oh, really, right? Yes. This exactly is really right. why we're here today. So what happened was. Um, in about when was that 2016 a couple of years ago it was yeah. almost 2016 because now I'm 31 and I was <laughs> turning 30 at the time so I'm almost 32 coming up soon so for my 30th birthday <laughs> anyway before then in what was it like May April time something like that yeah okay I walk down into the store as I do I go in there and one of the some of the guys goes hey Pete you have to go and see this telecaster which is in the uh, in the shop in the costume room, um, boutique room. I'm like, oh, okay, he walked in there, saw it. And that was this, right? That was this telecast. Was there a Wayne's World moment? And it was a, it was one of those where you look at it and go, Whoa! literally picked it up and I was like, this is just the best guitar I've ever played in my life. So I I just thought I have to have this guitar. And uh, so I texted, texted Lee, I was like, can we sort something out? Because whatever it takes, I'll do anything, anything, absolutely anything. And you're like, yes, we can do that, right? Um, I took an, a picture on Instagram. You can go back through my history and just check that um, that f post. And I was like, this is just the best telecast I've ever played. I need to have it. So Lee's like, I'm just in a meeting. Um, let's do it this afternoon. We'll sort something out. And I was like texting my my wife, going, I've just seen this amazing guitar. I really wanted. Can we? Can, is it okay if I, you know? Um, and you're like, yes, let's do it the, the afternoon. <laughs> and I was like, great. So I walked in, back, shot some videos, come back out, and and then it was sold. It was just sold that afternoon. I was just gutted. I had gutted. to give him the bad news. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's like, yeah the guitar's gone. It's sold. And I'm like, no, the worst moment <coughs> ever in my entire life. But then, then what happened? Then, so about two weeks later, the dude that bought it didn't get on with it. So he bought it back, changed it for something else. And uh, I decided, uh, I told all the guys on the shop floor, I said, don't tell Pete that the guys bought it back. <laughs> I phoned Pete's wife. He and does said, that a lot. Yeah, so. and said, uh, yeah, when I see that, no. Um, <laughs> I phoned Pete's wife and said, I know it's, uh, he really wanted this guitar and it's his 40th birthday, 30th, 30th birthday, birthday, sorry, coming up soon. <laughs> I've got the guitar back. He doesn't know. Do you, do you still want it? Yeah. So she obviously said, yeah, absolutely. And 
totally unbeknown to you on your on my birthday. birthday. I mean, I was w working on my birthday, but on this on the Saturday before, it's like the all the kids come in and Chloe come in and. It was like, we got something for you, close your eyes, because we want to give you a birthday present now, because well, you're not going to be there on your birthday. So, so I'm like, okay, I closed my eyes, and I like, got something on my lap, I was in bed, and it was like, open up, and it was, a ca it was like this case, this tweed case, and I thought, oh, they probably just taken one of my tweed cases from, you know, from the loft and put some prisons in it, you know. And I just opened it up, I was like, what? What the, the? and I, I've been in this shop, this is, I'll get goosebumps thinking, because I've been in the shop so many times going, has that guitar come back yet? Has it come back yet? You know, because the, the guy kind of buys and sells stuff all the time. He does, and yeah, he, he's a good customer and, of ours, yeah. yeah, he's a, he's a great dude. Sam, I think his name is. It and, is, yeah. And, um, and so, I'm trying to remember what he bought instead. I think he bought a Les Paul, actually. Yeah, but he, anyway, he well, haven't seen him for a while. He's but, buying, he buys um, and sells all yeah. the time. But. So, and all the guys apparently knew that the guitar had just come back and yeah. sitting his leaves up. I've been in your office for like meetings for these four, five, six months. And, and unknowingly, there was the guitar sitting right over there in a the case under your desk or whatever. Anyway, so that long story yes, short, long that's the, that's how. And you've seen this guitar yeah. in like hundreds of Anderson's videos. Yeah. And Pete's right, it's, and it's a unbelievably great, yeah, and really unusual looking. I mean, how many purple tellies do you see? Well, there is a few because I looked it up, and there was there's been like two or three I've seen out there. there there's probably more. Fender makes custom shop runs and there's some master builds. I think there's one or two master built purples. Yeah. Um, but you guys was asking, there's a lot of people asking, yeah. can I buy one? I want to buy one. Because that's not master built, is it? That's just a it, team built. Yeah, it's not master built. Well, but it was it's, sort of like a special edition, wasn't it's it? It's a special edition for Frankfurt 2014. So the music mess in Germany, where they spec'd it up for, yeah. for, for that. So that's... Was it 2014 or before then? I think it was 14. Because this is 13. Oh, okay. It's, okay. Not, it's 2013, so it's not that old. Um, so the story behind that yeah. is in in Germany. Um, I can't, the guy's name escapes me now, but whoever the, the the kind of the main Fender dude is that looks after all the custom shop orders, uh, he specked up some guitars to exhibit on the Fender stand at their big uh, show every March April time yeah. called Messer, and that was this this purple one here was one of them. So it's yeah. not a, it's it's kind of a relatively stock. Uh, 52, you know, Telecaster yeah. with some I mean, cool it's an extra light, it. extra light body, so it's really light. Uh, yeah. It's got a quarter sawn maple neck. It's got yeah. the twisted tellies in there, you know, and it's it's the, that purple metallic. It's not purple sparkle. It's purple metallic. Yeah. So, so that's um, probably the most unusual thing about it is the um, and I got a ding in the neck. <laughs> is the uh, color of it? But yeah. it just, I suppose, it just is such a great for guitar. me. For me, there was just you know, you have to find that guitar. And th when I pick this up, I've got guitars, yeah. and they're like you know, they're they're just sort of to tools, as I say. Yeah. And you know, if if you know, use them for what you need, but this was just when yeah. I picked it up, I was like, this is just I need to have this guitar, and that's so rare. Every, for me. We've all, we've all had that. Ever, I think that's the beautiful thing with guitars. There's not many things in life where you see something and you and you you play it or you you know maybe a, a, i don't know can i think of anything else i don't get that same feeling with cars or cars shoes or, or jackets yeah, but or where I mean, you just go oh i need to it's a, it's yeah. the wayne's world thing it's yeah like, it, it, is. it will be mine excalibur yeah you, you pull the sword out of the stone and you just feel like oh, this is just what i needed to to anyway to move on forward anyway so halfway so, through last year yeah we fast forward we then decided to because people were asking to ask fender if they can make some yeah so and the, the cool thing was, so we contact our kind of custom shop guru in the yeah. UK, a chap called Simon. Yeah. Um, he goes back to Fender with the serial number of Pete's um, yeah. uh, Telecaster, pulls out the records of what that was spec to be. Yeah. And we go, cool, that's what we want. Yeah. But we did some slight differences to the finishes. Uh, thought we won't just do purple, we'll do this amazing candy red, oh. uh, Sherwood green metallic, oh. Oh. Lake Placid blue with the um, tortoiseshell scratch plate. You'll yeah. see on, on the purple telly, the one thing that we deviated from um, was the pit guard. Yeah, because I've, I've got a slight thing at the moment for anodized scratch plate. So, so I, I thought it would look really cool and I, I, I saw a couple of purple guitars Fender done on you know on, on the internet and I was like I think that's going to look good yeah. so I've actually got one of those coming one of these plates coming we couldn't put decide whether or not to go relic or heavy relic we erred on the sort of the heavier relicking side I mean mine we, is heavy relic yeah I wasn't sure I think you're that was what we we didn't want it to be any less relic than Pete's because I no. think part of the charm and the character is how worn it is yeah they've come through a bit more relic than Pete's yeah but and the neck is a bit darker so yeah but, I mean 
it's just you've got, you've it, got to remember this this one on on Pete's left has had thousands of hours of play time yeah I've played all this, this is stuff literally off it, yeah. brand new come out of the case this morning so yeah. I'm sure you know in a few months time with yeah the right this, happy owner I mean I, I've worn a lot of mm. this stuff down already and you know I've given it things it's it's you know stuff has come off more yeah. and but let's 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 know. have a little listen yeah so the specs are really <coughs> pretty straightforward it's extra light ash body so we specify fender to go and choose the light bits yeah quarter sawn one piece maple neck yeah um twisted telly in the bridge uh regular 52 telly or is it no, no faster, caster sorry, one, no faster neck pickup yeah vintage machines three way um, switch all pretty stock from that point of view yeah uh a nine and a half inch radius though so it's a sort of a more modern radius yeah and slightly fatter frets than than you'd get you know more more akin to the kind of frets that you would get yeah. on a more modern Fender guitar yeah so kind of that hybrid vintage modern feel um, yeah well you can but very you much can bend vintage, up yeah. when you get up here you can bend without the, the very, very much know. a vintage classic telly tone yeah big brass saddles piece saddles which is is something that was on mine that i said can we get that on that yeah um and that's that's it really and they sound just look, they glorious. just look Wicked. I mean, they look really great, and so we've got we've got two of each: yeah. two two red ones, two purple ones, two green ones, two blue ones. Yeah, uh, these are not necessarily limited editions, so if these sell out quickly, we can order some more. But you're typically talking on these a six to nine month kind of lead time, so takes um, a while. It does take a it while. It takes to a come while. Through. Yeah, um, yeah, we ordered these last July. Was it? Wow. Yeah. Um, so let's just hear it we've, we're playing quite we, we haven't used this amp a lot actually but i think we're going to keep one of these in the room forever and ever now yeah i think so we, we've got the, the the stock fender hot rod deluxe but the new version four. four yeah got pete's normal floorboard on the on the floor here what you got yeah there? i mean i've got an sp compressor uh i've got an analog man king of tone which i know we don't sell but you know um you have to wait for that for like a year a year two years maybe well, there you go. You put, anyway. you're ordering for your telecaster and you're ordering for yeah. your <laughs> man sometime in 2037 they'll turn yeah. up <laughs> yeah, at the same time hopefully <laughs> and the light speed from Greer and up uh, delay and that's it really and then I got a detour looper to make the little uh, the little loops uh, and it sounds the clean tones from these sounds like this on the pickup on the front pickup they just sound great man When it gets a bit this is the thing with these with, it sounds great it's there's almost like this there's almost a strati tone with these um uh, thing you can do you can do that on the back pickup it becomes really <laughs> Very, very mm. telly. Uh, <coughs> it's proper. <coughs> I'm sorry about my cough, everybody. Uh, we've I'm there's going not, around. It's the Nam track. I'm still isn't not it? fully recovered from Nam. I mean, it's just it's just a great guitar. I tend to roll the tone back. Tight, tiny little bit. I oh, do that I on my strat as well. So just so you get, so you can kind of take a little bit. Of <laughs> I need to get rid of this. <laughs> Here, have some water. So we're back in the room. Mm -hmm. Lee's got a cough. He's got a bit of Nam tracks. Um, Sorry about that. So these, I mean, I think I think they're just great. Yeah. And I mean, 
no guitar, no two guitar the same. No. So it's never going to be the same as, as, as my guitar. Yeah. But that's just the way that, that it is. That's the magic, you know, you, isn't that's it? That's the magic, because you might pick it up and go, oh, yeah. I love this, but I don't like that, you know. Yeah. Um, no, it, uh, and I've yet, I, to, I've yet had anyone yeah. not uh, pick my mm. guitar up and go, I don't like this. I mean, this. At, at, <laughs> this, at this level of guitar manufacturing, where the, there's so much of the um, sort of DNA of the builder in the guitar, um, there are no two. It's there are no two guitars that are identical. No. Uh, what we can do, I mean, if I, I totally know that the the heavy relic uh, thing is not everybody's cup of tea, um, but it's completely cool for you to phone the the store, phone Andertons, and go, oh, those Telecasters that you had inspired by Danish Pete's one. Could I have one that's either slightly less relic? They do a finish called um, Journeyman, Journeyman yeah. which, which is, uh, well, go and look at some pictures of Journeyman guitars. Yeah. Like a sort of, it, it looks used, but not abused. Uh, or you can oh, you just classic, go- <coughs> You've got a classic, cla- where it's a completely you go full mint. New old stock. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think the ma- <laughs> I think the magic of these guitars, they have, you have to, they have to be beaten up. I mean, that's, that's, that's what I think. I mean, personally, it gives it something. I mean, they, they feel, I mean, the main, main they difference. They feel so much yeah. different. Well, there'll, there'll be two things, I think, about the Relic. The, the, the number one mega obvious difference is as soon as you start to wear the lacquer off of the neck, the feel of the guitar changes very differently. Completely. So these will feel very different to one where you've perhaps bought a spec one with, as new old stock. The yeah. other thing that, that I think you'll get, you're getting into the realms of my new shy here and you know is it in the brain or whatever but my I, new shy um yeah but it's this that idea mean? that as the finish wears off and the relics have the the, the heaviest relics have the thinnest thinnest I really thin possible. you can you can actually almost see through the grains you know you, totally you can see can. the grain in it yeah but there is that feeling that it just enables the body to to just vibrate a fraction more yeah than when it's completely encapsulated um so but it's mainly the feel. Anywho. Anyway, I mean, so I absolutely <clears throat> love these I think guitars. the idea They're was really, we, really we were just going to have a bit of a jam on all four colours. Yeah. I mean, um, they all got the same specs. They all got the same pickups. Yes. Which means that they're all the same. Can I just... I've got a... Yes, uh, let's hear you. Milkman. Milk me, man. Dairy Air. Dairy Air. Dairy Air. Uh, it's Dairy Air. But of course, if you're French, that means behind. Yeah. Um... <laughs> It just keeps going. There's a weird thing as well on really nice guitars where obviously every time you hit a note, all the way all the strings vibrate cause other sort of harmonics to come off of other strings, like a piano does, and all that kind of stuff. And there's a really nice, you know, really nice guitars, you know, big chords just sound bigger. Yeah. Because they're just I'm also loving this like the way you can get that weird kind of tremor. You can get that with most guitars, Yeah, I mean, it? that's... But... <laughs> it's a great sound. Just to, just to let people know as well, it is... It is um, chunky. It's a chunky neck, because that's what they are. These these 52s are just chunkier than, than normal. But that also gives more sustain. I mean, you talk about wood, and people say, oh, there's, you know, sorry, I'm not going to go, oh, there's no, no difference in the wood, but it does make a difference. Yeah. It, for me. Guitars with big necks sound different to guitars with skinny necks. They, yeah. Well, anyway, and they're whatever. different to play. You'll attack it in a different way. I mean, you know. Oh, that sounds good, though. Let's have uh, some drive on the, on the back. I've got a Gristle King. <laughs> Thank you. 
sell that thing, doesn't it? That's so, just, just, yeah, there's that sustain, I'm, which is insane. Insane sustain. Can we can we just put this to in the, my ultimate, brain. the ultimate test? Can we strum a G chord on your purple telly and then strum a G chord on one of these? Sure. And let's just see what happens. I mean, I mean, I would say these have got new strings on it. Mine, I like older strings. Oh, I see. So you're, well, it's... I mean, I mean, I'd like, I like when the strings are a little bit, when the tone sort of becomes not so bright. That's just my thing, you know. Oh, um, play, play a chord. Right, so I got the light speed on and it sounds like this. <laughs> sounds better now. <laughs> it almost fell down. <laughs> Let's try that. Right, back pick up, full whack. Let's try, let's try the purple one. Well, the purple one will sound more purpley, obviously. Yeah, it sounds more purple. I was wondering whether the pick guard might make a difference because it's a metal pick guard. Yeah, but let's see. See what it does. I, I don't do know. It's a little I, bit. I mean, that's the strings... entirely because I said it. Yeah. We've, we've all gone, <laughs> yeah. oh, I can hear it. Oh, I can hear all the, uh, the tones, are the, are the top tones. We're probably talking too much in this video for people to hear the differences, but. Okay, here comes a G chord. <laughs> A lot there's, of sustain in that. so in much that. bass end for a, for a Telecaster on a bridge pickup, which you would normally associate with like an ice pick yeah. kind of tone. Yeah, I mean, I run, so on, much bass I run everything on 12. I've taken, <coughs> the, uh, I've taken the sustain down a little bit. On, uh, sorry, the presence down a bit on the, uh, on the Fender. That one. It's a little bit more green, this one. M much yeah, more green. A little bit, little bit um, more green. I mean, my strings are pretty dead on that on that yeah. guitar because I haven't changed them for yeah. a while. So there might um, be an, an element of added brightness on the new ones. But yeah. that's just... But man, they look good. Look, I mean, look at these guitars. That's the main thing, isn't it? I mean, let's be honest here. We're all vain divas at heart. Yeah, I mean, um, it's, it's, it's Marmite want... for people, isn't it? It's Marmite. Because some people don't, can't, don't like it at all. I mean, well, I personally, I absolutely I think don't it's think, awesome. I'm not sure that I've ever heard anybody that says they actually don't like beaten up guitars. What they don't like is the fact that it's made to be beaten up. I mean, if, okay. this, if this was a genuine 52 Teleco, I don't know, I don't think they ever made them in this color, so it'd have to be like a reef in one. I don't, actually, you know what, I don't, well, then, I don't even know about that. No, but. this was later. Think, <coughs> maybe it was. Maybe they did put the Cadillac and uh, that, that's all I think car that was, colors. I think it? that was later. But anyway, if this was an original 50s telly and it had been played by some super famous like Keith Richards. Yeah, Keith Richards. And this and, and all this marks, you know, and this ding was from some Rolling Stone. So, you know, I don't think there'd be a guitar player on the planet that wouldn't be going, oh, oh this the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. obviously, the yeah. dings are, are, are yeah. sort of manufactured, if you like, rather yeah. than, uh, yeah. you know, road-worn. Uh, I, I understand, you know, and, and again, I don't really mind. Guitars are all about opinions. Music and arts is all about opinions, yeah. isn't it? I mean, it? it's, it's um, yeah. And, I think, but you get, you know, you get, you, and you, if you get a ding in it, it don't matter. Yeah. And I think the only thing, the only thing <laughs> I would say that I think people do themselves no favours in the comments sections online is to really rant about someone else's decision to like something absolutely it's people's you know, own decision day, if, you, if you want to wear a dress wear a dress yeah absolutely <laughs> oh, i mean he does it so yeah absolutely every weekend <laughs> if you want to wear a relic dress put yeah. a relic dress on you know i mean so that's my only that's sunday you yeah. know i mean i i'd say by all means uh by all means choose not to buy one of these because you don't like the artificialness of the relic thing. yeah but don't tell someone that did like who, who's the, who, who's that they're wrong somehow? Yeah. That's I mean, rubbish. But that's that's anyway, just the way. So what? Hey, hey, don't I be a played? dick, right? Don't be a dick, right? <coughs> what haven't I played? That one? No, I think I started on you, that one, didn't I? You you haven't played the purple one, and I don't think I've played the. You definitely haven't played the green one. Okay, I'll I the started green. with the red one, yeah. and you had the purple one, yeah. which means this one hasn't been played, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Man, these are really good. That's not hot. Man's not hot, but there is. But these guitars they, are. They are very hot. I mean, there's um, how many? Eight. Well, eight right now. I mean, as I said, there's nothing to stop us ordering some more, but right now there's just two of each. Uh, there are high-res photographs of the eight uh, on our website. If you just, I'll put a link in the description below. It just, in case you're interested. With weight and everything, The right? ones, yeah, they're all weighed and everything. On uh, here, I am playing serial number R17421. That's the blue one. Okay, and got? this is R17421. 
317. This is R17320. And this is R17275. I mean, just listen to this. It couldn't be any more fendery. No. If you physically mixed it all up, added it to a frying pan and added some fender sauce, it couldn't be any more fendery.
<laughs> anyway, if you can't see the genuine, pure, unadulterated joy that Pete and I get from playing these guitars, <laughs> then I don't they're know what so else. Good. They're, they're so good. That's just so good. There's something special, right? Come to the store. We're yeah. going to hang these up in the store right now after the video. Um, come to the store. Or take a punt. Buy one online. It's probably not the they're, best thing to do with these kind of guitars, but they're so good, man. They are good, aren't they? They're so good. They are good. And they rock. <laughs> You know what we haven't said? No. We haven't told people the price. And I think oh, on I that don't even know. Shell, we should just leave. Okay. Uh, because it's one of those guitars where you have to ask, you probably can't afford it. Thank uh, you. So <laughs> Thank anyway, you the links are in the description below if you want to yeah. find out more. Uh, there you go. Beautiful oh. guitars. Well done, Pete. Which one is your favorite? Uh, visually, that, that one. I like this one as well, visually, I must admit. Although... I've got one of those, so... <laughs> I was <laughs> surprised how much I liked the red one. Yes, I don't, that's I don't, cool. I don't own a red. Actually, no, I do. I own a 335, don't I? But I don't have anything quite like that. Candy Apple. Um, this one, I again, like that. I like that. That's probably of the four, the one that's. Um, I'm not sure everyone's going to like that Sherwood Green. I might even. Do you know what? I think if I had this guitar, this. I might put that scratch plate on it. Yeah. If, you, if that's what you want to do, by the way, guys, and I know this video is probably. If there's any of these guitars, you think, oh, I'd love that, but I just want that scratch plate. We can sort all that out. We can we can work this stuff out. We yeah. can buy scratch plates from Fender and stuff. So yeah, we'll get this one. I think that would you. look good with that scratch plate on I it. I think you're it. correct. Could it just lay it over it slightly? Let's see what would happen. Does that look cool? It's hard to tell, I suppose. They do look cool. Anyway, oh, right. Go Photoshop that. Man. Right. Thank Fantastic. you for watching. I'm Pete. I'm the captain. And the price is. Oh, you said you don't want it in the description. Yeah. <laughs> see you later. Everybody, thanks for watching the Andertons Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting, and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.